The country star who was lost on this day made an eerie prediction. I've had two bad accidents, she said to a fellow singer. The third one will either be a charm or it'll kill me. A week later, she performed a benefit in Kansas City, Kansas for the family of disc jockey Cactus Jack Call, who had died in a car crash about a month earlier. Also performing in the show were George Jones, Dottie West, Cowboy Copas, Hawkshaw Hawkins, and many more. She was unable to fly out the next day because Fairfax Airport was fogged in. On March 5th, 1963, Patsy Cline climbed into a tiny Piper PA-24 Comanche aircraft. She was joined by Hawkins and Copas as well as her manager, Randy Hughes, who was at the controls. The plane stopped once in Rogers, Arkansas to refuel and subsequently landed at Dyersburg Municipal Airport in Tennessee at 5 p.m. The airfield manager suggested they stay the night because of high winds and inclement weather, but Hughes, who was not trained in instrument flying, said, I've already come this far. We'll be there before you know it. The plane took off at 6.07 p.m., just 13 minutes after takeoff. Hughes lost all visibility and attempted to land on a nearby highway. Instead, he skirted some trees and the plane crashed at full speed into the woods of Camden, Tennessee, killing everyone instantly.